Previously, on Tribunal, I spent this week really getting to know the people of Mournhold. I made a few friends and a few enemies, both essential components for any aspiring adventurer. My favorite was the crazed-eyed doomsayer speaking of the end of days, something about the gates of oblivion opening across Tamriel, and that hordes of Daedra will roam this world freely. What a bunch of hogwash. I met with a museum curator who offered me baffling amounts of gold to place a few of my artifacts on display. Why not? Perhaps I can use the gold to help the destitute of Mournhold, who Almalexia seems to be ignoring. I'd like to say that what has happened to the tribunal would never happen to me if I was to ascend into godhood, but I can't say it with absolute certainty. Maybe all this fame and wealth is starting to go to my head. Hello, and welcome back to some more Tribunal with Valjan Celis. Today we are going to continue the main quest a little bit, see where it takes us. We are going to continue working for King Helsith, the man who tried to have us killed, because Valjan believes in second chances and sort of understands where he was coming from as he basically did the same thing to Archmage Trebonius. We killed him because we, we, we could see him becoming a threat to Valjan's power. So yeah, we're going to go report in back to the palace that we found out that a sheet called the Common Tongue is being shared around talking about King Helseth's assassinations that he has done in the past. So he is prone to murder is what they're trying to argue. And here we are. Hello. Long live the king. Yes, yes, long live. Um, let's talk about King Lethlin's death. Thank you for bringing me this copy of the common tongue. I believe this is indeed the source of the rumors. I see no source or evidence for its speculation, just vague falsehoods. Thank you. Well done. I'll mention your loyal services and exceptional qualities to King Helseth, and I think we might find you further employment. For example, we lack sources of information in Almalexia's temple. Could you help me find a temple informant? All right. We need a source of information inside Almalexia's temple. There are rumors of discontent in the temple. Go to her temple. Look for someone discontented. Listen sympathetically and find out whether the temple is willing to accept King Helseth, or whether the temple plans to act against him. Is he a loyal supporter of the temple? He's a faithful member of both the temple and the imperial cult. Now, will you help us find an informant? Yes. Good. Find him and then report to me if you find out whether the temple is willing to accept him or not. Or whether the temple plans to act against him. So we are going to mark here. because It seems like we're going to have to come back here a couple times. And then we're going to head towards the temple. I honestly don't know the best way to get there. Like I said, this like palace is weirdly designed, confusing. I don't really understand the layout of this place. Actually, do you sell some potions? I'm sorry, but I provide services only to members of the Imperial cult. We'll do that later. <laughs> it's crazy we can't even barter with that guy. Uh, you sell some potions, okay. Good enough, good Even enough. Right, let's go to the courtyard and then... This is the temple? Yes, okay. So we've never been in this district. So that's exciting. Hello, who are you? Hello there, Dark Elf. Before you take another step, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gaynor, and well, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur of sorts. I was wondering if I could ask a small favor of you. Oh boy. Glad you asked. As many would have noticed, I'm not looking my best at the moment. I'm a little, shall we say, down on my luck, which is not something I'm used to, let me tell you. At any rate, I'm looking for a little starting capital to get things rolling here in Mournhold. I've recently arrived myself as well, and I thought you might be able to help me out. Think you could part with, say, 50 gold? Yeah, sure, why not? Splendid. I really do appreciate it, and I must say you're quite the generous soul. In fact, as long as we're talking and getting along so well, do you think maybe you could spot me another hundred? I'm quite sure that I can pay you back in just a few days time. I've always had excellent luck when it comes to these sort of things, so what do you say? Uh, no. You're not supposed to acknowledge them. Yeah, here's a hundred. <laughs> you really are something, Valjean Salas. I can see we're going to get along famously. Okay, I'll be upfront with you. If I could just have another, oh, 
a thousand gold or so, then I can really make it here. I just know it. You've been so good to me, and it's clear that you've got the money. Just a little more help, that's all I ask. You'll do it, right? Sure. Wow, you have no idea what this means to me. I've never held this much gold in my life. Well, heck, you've just got money to burn, don't you? I bet you could spare another 10,000. Okay. Couldn't you? Come on, I know you're, you've got it. Let's have it. <laughs> uh... I don't even know what to say. I'll never be able to truly pay you back for this. You've restored my faith in the world, Valgencellus. And boy, are you ever rich. I bet you've got a million gold. In fact, I bet you've got 10 million gold. You must be the richest Dark Elf ever. You should give me a million, don't you think? Then we can both be millionaires. Sure. Do you really think I'm that stupid? No one walks around with a million gold on them. That's ludicrous. I won't stand for this kind of patronizing. I will not be mocked. You'll see, Valgencellus. You'll all see. I'll get you. <laughs> yeah, I don't have that much money, surprisingly enough. Hello. It's another perfect day in Mournhold. Give to the temple and receive the blessings of Almalexia, sure. Our wealth dies with us, my child, but our good deeds outlive us all. Would you care to make a donation to the temple and receive the blessings of the Lady of Mercy? Yeah, sure, here's five gold. He didn't give me any blessings. I'm Alexia, the mother of us all, healer and protector. Always has been. I suppose she doesn't seem that way now. It's the war with Dagoth Ur. It's hard for all of us. She's had to change to toughen herself and her followers. It's true that sometimes dissenters appear when they question her doctrines. The hands of Amalexia are more like inquisitors than knights of loving mercy. And Mournhold doesn't feel much like the city of love anymore. But hard times demand hard gods. Who are the hands of Amalexia? They're her personal guards, body and soul, scimitar and armor fortified by divine enchantments, pledged to honor and protect and serve Amalexia in all ways. They used to spend, spend much of their time punishing criminals and protecting people. Now they spend all their time protecting Amalexia. I suppose that's right, but it makes me uneasy. Sends the wrong signal. Vengeful might rather than a vigilant mercy. Interesting. Do you know of anyone who's discontent in the temple? Lord Vivek has forgiven the dissident priests and welcomed them back into the temple. There are still many, many disagreements and problems to be worked out, but things are not as bad as they used to be. Do you sell anything good? No. You sell garbage. Get out of my sight. Oh, she actually gave me a blessing. What did it do, though? Fortify luck. That's it. Well, that was not worth donating gold. Hello, Granny. I clean this temple, Sarah. Mind you keep it that way. <laughs> this temple is as clean as Amalexia's conscience, Sarah, and mind you keep it that way. Hello? Ah, you're the one who has recently arrived in Mournhold from Vardenfell. I was told of your arrival. I understand you've had some problems with the Dark Brotherhood. An interesting group, and usually rather effective. I'm surprised you're still alive. Perhaps you have potential, or they sent incompetence. I believe you might be of service to Our Lady. Um... Yeah... I don't know about that one. Let's go into the infirmary. Maybe they have some potions here. Or at least some ingredients. Hello. Almalexia knows and sees. It's another perfect day in Mournhold. The Nerevarine here in Mournhold. Very interesting. Do you have like some good potions or at least ingredients, please? Uh, restore health. Okay, okay. Do we have any mana ones? Those are the ones we're lacking right now. No, you do not. At least not very many of them. All right, discontent in the temple. I am a faithful believer, but Almalexia makes me uneasy. For the last 50 years, the tribunal stopped walking among us, stopped listening and speaking with us. This worried me and made me sad. Were our gods ab abandoning us? Were they growing weak? But since Almalexia has lately come among us again, I feel more worry, not less. Her face glows brightly with hope and power, but her words seem dark and bitter. Well, let's do what the, uh, Guard captain said, and listen patiently and sympathetically. I'm Alexius Homilies? Homilies. Homilies. That is a weird word. Are full of compassion, understanding, wisdom, and acceptance. But now her sermons seem more intent on destroying the wicked, punishing the foolish, and rewarding the faithful. The unquestioning, obedient faithful. Yes, these are difficult times, and in difficult times to survive, we must be hard. I tremble for the failing of my faith, 
but the god I once loved now frightens me. Ask about the temple and King Helsith. Helsith has murdered King Lathan and stolen his crown. It does not matter that King Lathan was a fool. He was our fool. So long as the puppet king was a joke, we could all laugh and ignore him. Helseth is not a fool, and no one is laughing. If he seeks in earnest to be king, then Amalexia and the temple are sworn in earnest to destroy him. Interesting. Um, alright, let's just go turn it back in, I guess. Did not mean to mark the infirmary, but I guess I did. Galsa Andrano speaks her mind, and from what you say, sounds sincere. You handled her well. The temple seems to recognize that King Helseth will not be content to be a puppet like King Lathan, and plans to act against us. Very good work, Falch and Celis. The king will hear of your loyal service. Now you can help us with another matter. King Helseth is concerned about the possible disloyalty among the guards. I've replaced many of the former king's guards with more reliable men, but I had to keep some experienced guards and I can't be certain of their loyalties. I will pretend you wish to join the royal guards. That's your excuse for talking to the guards, sounding them out, and looking for evidence of disloyalty. If you find any hint of treason or evidence of disloyalty, report it to me. Take no action. Report to me and I will judge what action is appropriate. Um, are there any guards in particular? It's your judgment I'm testing, not mine. Talk to them yourself. Form your own conclusions. Okay. Good. If you find any evidence, bring it to me. Hello. Karad says nothing. Well, he's not a traitor. How about you, Drusus? I'd like to join the Imperial Guards. Or Royal Guards. My father had the honor to serve King Helseth and Queen Brenzia in Wayrest. My family has served the Queen for three generations. I don't know your qualifications, but I presume you've satisfied Tenius Delton, or we wouldn't be talking. Um, tell me about King Lathan? Ask about King Helseth. It's my honor to serve King Helseth and Queen Berenzia. Morrowind is lucky to have him, if you want my opinion. Um, I want to join the Royal Guard. I've had worse jobs. Tenius knows what he's doing. He offered me a position and I took it. Deletan is a hard ass, but he's fair. I've got no complaints. Okay. Tell me about King Helseth. King Lathan was a joke king. King Helseth is a real king. I like to be on the winning side, and King Helseth looks like winning to me. Okay, what about you? What did Tenius send you to me for? If he wants you to be a royal guard, then you'll be a royal guard. Nothing to do with me. How do I like it? You think I was born yesterday? My mom didn't teach me to blabber to strangers. So old King Lathan was a bit of a fool, but he was good to me. And King Helseth is no fool. He's got to keep some experienced men like me around. All these new fellows like you. Someone's got to teach them their business, because they don't know it. Okay, tell me about King Lathan. You hear folks say old King Lathan was a fool. Well, folks should keep their mouths shut. Maybe he was a fool, but lots of folk are fools. Maybe he had no business being a king, but that's what he was. So folks should, so should show some respect to the old fellow. What about Helseth? It is an honor to serve. It is my honor to serve King Helseth and Queen Berenzia. That's right, just what I said. An honor. Oh uh, no. Maybe he's not very bright, maybe he's just not a very good liar. Could be both. I don't care if Tenius thinks you're qualified, that's fine with me. How do I like being in the guard? I'm new here and I haven't formed an opinion, but I know and trust Tenius and expect he'll do right by me. Tell me about King Lathan. Don't know anything about him, I'm new here. It's him. He's the murderer. Tell me about the other king. I bet he makes a bad enemy. Hard to tell what he's thinking. But if I do my job right, I know Tenius will take care of me. The okay. And the Empire, um, there is a guard barracks. I guess we could go oh, talk to those people. Man, there's a lot of royal guards. Huh? These guys are just like so, unnamed though. I don't think we have to talk to the unnamed ones. Just, never just the named ones. Yeah, Royal Palace Guards Quarters. Maybe that has some more people there. I'm just gonna check just in case. Hello, I'd like to join the Royal Guards. I've been a Royal Guard all my life, and so was my mother and her mother. I served King Lethlan for many years, and now I serve King Helseth. Long live the king, and long live the emperor. It's none of my business, of course, but why do you want to be a guard? You look like you've done well enough for yourself as an adventurer. Um, tell me about King Lathan. What about him? He was what he was. He was the king, my noble lord, and I served him faithfully. Okay, tell me about Helseth. It is my honor to serve King Helseth and Queen Berenzia. Who's Berenzia? It's so good to have the lady living among us again. She has always been a woman of the people, never putting on any airs of royalty. But you, you're not named. 
You're not important. If you don't have a name, them's the rules. All right, I think that's all of the named guards. I cannot seem to find any others. Okay, disloyalty among the guards. So, Evolrin Arano delivered a memorized and not very sincere sounding speech about King Helseth. Well, Olvin Arano is not very bright. It's not necessarily evidence of disloyalty, but follow up on it. There may be more. Okay. Hello. Mention your House Lalu connections. Oh, really? Does Tenius know that? Did you talk to Alari Aren? You should tell her that you're House Lalu. Really, but don't tell Tenius. Just tell Alari Aren. I'm, I'm gonna tell him. <laughs> I can't tell him. <laughs> okay, we'll go talk to that lady then, who is in the Royal Guard barracks. Apparently, we were supposed to go talk to her anyways. Is it you? Yes, hello. I am connected with House Lalu, I swear. He what? Aluvin Arano told you to tell me about your Lalu connections and told you not to tell Tenius Delatin? I have no idea what that's all about. Are you sure you heard him right? He's not the brightest star in the sky. He just gets confused sometimes. I wouldn't worry about it. I'll talk to Aluvin Arano later when I get the chance. I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding. So you spoke with Aliri Aran about your Lalu connections as Aluvin Arano suggested and Aliri Aran acted like she didn't know what he was talking about. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps Aliri Aran was covering for Irano. See if you can find some more tangible evidence of disloyalty. Something in writing, perhaps. Irano seems to be the weak link. Take careful look at his possessions in the guard quarters. But be careful, don't get caught or you'll be attacked like a common thief. Hello. Just looking for some so, evidence of your guys' betrayal. Else. Like right there. <laughs> That's probably it. Doesn't help there's three guards standing watch over it. That must be an important piece of paper. And she's stuck because the other two are not moving. Come on. I'll get a fourth guard. Perfect. Go away. I need to steal stuff. All right, what if we like wait an hour? There we go. Okay, they moved a little bit. That's good enough. Jeez. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Don't we have a telekinesis spell? Yes. Let's use it. Aha. Handwritten note. A curious copy of the guard duty rosters for the past several weeks. The handwriting is tiny and almost illegible with frequent misspellings, but three names are always correctly spelled. Melvella Draylin, Eluvin Arano, and Aliri Aren, and those watches when all three are the only guards in the throne room have been underlined twice. All right, we got away with taking it too. Just another recall, we're out of Magicka at this point. This is Eluvin Arano's handwriting on the note you found. He notes the watches when Draylin, Aren, and Arano are the only guards in the throne room. I believe I'll change the watch schedules to prevent that, and I'll need to keep a close eye on all three. Very shrewd work, Valgencellus. You've brought me clear evidence of disloyalty among the guards. Now I need your help finding evidence of conspiracy against King Helseth. Am I gonna, like, <laughs> get something for some of this? I feel like I'm doing all your dirty work. And you're not really... You, you hate my guts, still. And you're not giving me anything for it. Okay, evidence of conspiracy. The old king's Hlalu supporters haven't accepted King Helseth's ascension to the throne with good grace. Maybe they think that another candidate, a Hlalu candidate, for example, would be better. Maybe they have some plan to express such a preference. If so, I doubt they would be candid about it. Maybe you should search Lelithan Manor for documents, diaries, or other tangible evidence of such plans. Okay, what are the defenses there? If you have to depend on me for such information, you may not be that useful to me. You, sir, are a grade-A douchebag. I'll take care of it. I don't even know Lathan Manor is definitely in God's reach. I feel like I recognize that name. We also missed a few houses and manors here that... I thought we had covered everything, but no, we missed like three or four as I was walking around and looking at the map. So we'll have to do those at some point. This is the manor that we went to before where we talked with the widow of the king. That's why I recognize it. All right, we need to find evidence of conspiracy. I'm just gonna go in your room since you guys don't seem to care and look in all of your cabinets and chests and cupboards. There's nothing in here. <laughs> um, okay. Is there anything behind? No. Let's ask him. Hey, do you have any evidence of your uh, yeah. 
betrayals. Okay, let's check downstairs, maybe? Hmm, there's a note over we there. Must endure our sorrows. Yes. So sad. Alright, well, I'm gonna be over here if you need me. Handwritten letter, that's probably- oh, she turned this way already. Okay, let's grab it. To my honorable cousin, Forvin Barano, be this delivered in haste. Forvin, I cannot agree. I'm a merchant and have no skill at arms. You are a noble, and in your prime were proven on practice and tournament grounds. Though in truth, you have never fought a duel and have few gifts as a liar. No one can doubt Hlogar, the bloody's aptitude and enthusiasm for mayhem. But he's not a subtle man, more suited for a brawl or battlefield than an assassin's role. And we cannot trust the Dark Brotherhood. Helseth owns them. They promise discretion, but their promises are worthless. I'm afraid we must approach the Morag Tong. I agree with you, they will probably refuse, but at least they can be trusted to be discreet. If in the end we are forced to choose among ourselves, I fear it must be you. And we will have to rack our brains for some plausible pretext that will get you into Helseth's presence. I'm disappointed though, not surprised, at the lack of public outcry over Athan's murder. The popular sentiment seems to be to avoid personal risk and accept Helseth. It's short-sighted, but understandable. I, I have noted, however, that the writer of the common tongue is sympathetic towards our cause, clever and eloquent. He may be able to sway opinion. We should try to identify this fellow and try to bring him into our councils. Your faithful servant, Badal Alan. Okay, that sounds like conspiracy to me. This letter you found is very interesting. Forvin Barano, Logar the Bloody, and Badal Alen are obviously conspiring to assassinate King Helseth. This is treason, punishable by death. I will immediately drop writs for their execution. You would do the king a great service if you would execute these traitors. <laughs> sure. Excellent. When you've executed these traitors, report back to me. Forvin is a faithful temple-going... Noble, look for him in or around the temple. What about Hlogar? I don't know where to find him. Like a lot of those Nord louts, he may be too cheap to pay for lo lodgings. Try looking down below in the sewers. That does not narrow it down. Uh, what about Badal? I have no idea where to look. He could be anywhere in this city. Okay, let's go to the temple then, because we know for certain that someone is in there that we can kill. Oh, what's his name? Gaynor is gone. That's good. Is he actually gonna like come after us and try to kill us? <laughs> I'm not prepared. Koval. Hi there. Wow. Can you believe this place? It's just amazing. Everything's so beautiful. The buildings, the shops, the women. I'm blown away. G Pop Varus. All the trees and plants, tended lawns and paths are hymns of praise to Amalexia's name. It's humble work, Sarah, but I'm very proud of it. Yes, it's very annoying. I can't pick any of these without guards coming to murder me. <laughs> I want to do some alchemy. Are you Forvin? Okay. Yes, you are. I am Forvin Barano, but I don't see how that matters to you. Okay. Conspiracy. I don't know what you're talking about. This is obviously some mistake. So the question is, would Valjan kill these conspirators? And I think he would, because in Valjan's mind, a destabilized Morrowind, like with the death of another king, is not a good thing. I don't know, he can kind of see both sides where King Helseth obviously isn't a great guy, but he will keep things stable on the mainland. At the same time, is he going to try to kill Valjan, you know, sending more assassins after him if Valjan ever gets in his way again, you know, or, or is too powerful or he's worried that he's gonna take over. So, we're gonna kill the conspirators. I think that's what Valjan would do. He he does not want to see Morrowind devolve into chaos, and the assassination of a king would probably lead to that. <laughs> you are contemptible, a lackey of that bloody tyrant Helseth. I shall show you a real Hlalu noble knows how to live or die for honor and justice. Yeah, yeah, I bet, Mr. Hlalu. You don't know anything about honor and justice. <clears throat> He's sickening me. Alright, let's go find the other two. One is supposedly in the sewers, and the other one is... Nowhere. I don't know. Hello. Blessings of Omsivi, Nerevarine. Thank you. Tell me about Forvin. Yes, I heard he's dead. 
He is, he is. Do you know where Badal Aelin is? He's a bookworm. Try a bookseller. That's where I'd look. Okay, and then what about Lagar? The Nord? The big mean one? A Hlalu retainer, I think. Isn't he the one who is living rough down in the West Sewers? Where are the West Sewers? Do I look like someone who knows the sewers? I don't know. <laughs> There's a gate in God's Reach that leads to the sewers for the residential areas. I think that leads to the sewers under the palace. The West Sewers are west of that, I think. Okay. So bookstore, West Sewers under God's Reach. Got it. Why are there so many naked men in Tribunal? Hello. Oh, you're just a beggar. Oh, hello. Did you want something? <laughs> I mean, I guess that makes sense. Can you give me some coins? Yeah, here's 25. God bless you, sir. That's enough for a whole week. Shouldn't it be God's bless you, sir? Maybe he knows something we don't. Um, well, the Great Bazaar is like right here, so... Is there... Yeah, there is a bookseller here. Hello. Is Badal here? Oh, he is. Hello. But I don't understand. Is something a matter? Yes, conspiracy. Oh dear, I knew this would happen. Please have mercy on me. Okay, I actually kind of feel bad for this guy. <laughs> nah, man. He, he gotta go. He, we can't have people plotting the king's death. Denounce Badal. Die. But I can say I'm doomed. Then it's better to die here than rot in Helsa's dungeon. Do your worst, villain. Oh, I'm the villain? No, you're you're trying to murder a king. I do feel pretty bad about this. But but like I said, it's like this weird moral quandary for Valjan because he he doesn't want the king dead even if he understands that the king isn't the best guy in the world. Okay, so God's Reach and then we need to go back in the sewers that we were in before. Exciting stuff. All right. So this actually leads to the West Sewers. So I don't know what that ordinator was talking about. This is seemingly where we need to be. Uh, two directions. Let's go the way with the torch first. Hello. A dead guy. All right, that's promising. Just a dead end that leads nowhere. I guess so. Oh no, there's a little tunnel over here. I don't see any adamantium though, which is a shame. Another dead guy. And I think we found our man. <laughs> Hello. You're on your honor. Don't press your luck. Conspiracy. Yeah, well, what are you going to do about it? Execute You're you. Weak. That suits me fine. For Ethan, let all the world be bathed in your dog water's blood. <laughs> oh crap. He's actually like well equipped and armed unlike the other two. There we go. We knocked him down. We don't do that very often. Okay, he has a bunch of uh, alcohol here. We will take that, actually. Property of House Lalu. Bunch of weapons that they're smuggling in. Bunch of crappy potions. Maybe I should take them, but I don't really want to. Ooh, alchemy ingredients. Uh, any of them good? No. Not really. Yeah, I think <laughs> we're just gonna leave the sewers. No reason to stay here any longer than we have to. Dealt with the conspiracy. You've executed Forvin, Logar, and Badal. Congratulations. It is customary to pay the executioner for his services. Here are 3,000 gold pieces with our thanks. And now I'd like to help. I'd like your help finding the anonymous writer of the common tongue. We'd like you to find the anonymous writer of the common tongue and persuade him to stop printing such lies about King Helseth. Then when we make official inquiries, people just look stupid and assure us that they have no idea what we are talking about. We think you may have better luck, particularly if you approach less reputable Reputable citizens, persons who place profit above honor. Helseth is a poisoner, isn't he? What do you know about it? Do not let our close association confuse you into thinking I will tolerate disrespectful speech concerning our sovereign. <laughs> Tell me more about this mission. First, we want you to ask around and discover who is writing these lies. Then we want you to find him and persuade him to stop printing. The manner of the persuasion is left to your discretion. You will be discreet, of course. We don't want to appear to be threatening the time-honored imperial traditions of encouraging free speech. Sure, I'll take care of it. Good, report to me when you found this writer and make sure that he will never print lies about King Helseth again. Okay, shady people. Who are shady people that we <laughs> we know of? Um, that Argonian guy Justice. in the bazaar was kind of shady, wasn't he? Oh, it's you. What, have you come to run me completely out of business? <laughs> Anonymous writer. I might know something. I find it pays to know things. Wait, wait, we have an amulet for this. The prey 
approaches. Haha. <laughs> Here's what I've heard. I've heard that the guy who writes the common tongue is someone named Trells Varis. Now, this is not a name known to me personally. I make it a habit to know the names of people in Mournhold personally. And this guy I do not know, and other people I talk to also do not know, which is noteworthy in itself. I make the guess that the guy is well hid and wants to say well hid. But where do I first hear about this guy? In the Craftsman's Hall. So maybe that's one place to look. Thank you, sir. You've been most helpful. Even though I've apparently almost driven you out of business. <laughs> okay. So, we need to get back to the crafter's hall. Because I'm a lazy man, let's teleport over. Alright, Anonymous Rider. Don't know anyone named Anonymous. Oh, you mean a guy who writes but doesn't sign his own name? For the common tongue? Well, how am I supposed to know who he is if I don't know his real name? Sheesh. <laughs> Hey, I thought maybe it was the quiet orc and the blacksmith. No one would expect him. Okay, you don't know. What about you? I helped you get a book. You should help me. No. All right, all right. There's someone in here, though, that knows him. Keep out. Lock level 70. He's in there, isn't he? There's no other reason they'd have a locked door that says keep out. Secret office. Ooh, what, what's this? You got some glass. Some ebony. Hello. I have nothing to say. You want to talk to Varys. We just work here. We print the truth. The straight truth. <laughs> what are you doing here? And may I suggest you make your answer very clear because this office and what we do here is a well-kept secret. And we wish to keep it a secret, even if it means that you do not leave here alive. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm just an honest working burglar and I want no trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for the Eye of Argonia. <laughs> uh, stop printing lies about King Helseth. I haven't printed lies about him in the common tongue. I've only printed the truth, and I intend to keep printing the truth in the common tongue unless you think you can stop me. Um, I think a donation of 3,000 gold to the Widows and Orphans Fund will stop you. <laughs> hmm, you're a true judge of character. <laughs> I am a man of principle and will not hold my common tongue for a payment of gold. But I know what benefits gold can do if it's used for a good cause. Very well, I will not discuss King Helseth in the common tongue. You have my word, and I'll take your 3,000 gold, and will contribute it to the Widows and Orphans Fund. And now, if you'll excuse me, we'll have to relocate immediately, now that the secret of our office is spoiled. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like we are not a good person. <laughs> and it's becoming more and more apparent. All right, let's go back to the Tenius. So, Trails Varus is the anonymous writer of the Common Tongue, and he gave you his word that he would not discuss King Helseth in the Common Tongue, and you gave him 3,000 gold to contribute to the Widows and Orphans Fund. Yes, a small sacrifice in the service of my king. We place great trust in your judgment, and we are very satisfied with your service and sentiments. You shall have exactly 3,000 gold to cover your expenses, and a rich reward and great honor. Besides, I give you the King's Oathblade. Ooh. Exactly like those used by the Royal Guard, only those sworn to the King's service and tested by great trials may use them. They bear deadly curses that kill thieves and traitors. There's one last official matter. Go to Lady Berenzia. She's asked to speak with you. King's Oathblade. Holy crap, that is a good sword. Paralyzed, damage health, and fire damage. Dude, that is a cool looking sword. Our armor kind of looks ridiculous because we don't have actual armor, but the sword looks cool. All right, let's find Berenzia. I actually don't know where she is. Okay, I think I found it. This place is more confusing than Vivek City. Berenzia's Chambers. Okay. Nice little hot, hot tub. Hello. Approach and be recognized, my good man. Greetings, Valden Cells. I've been wanting to speak with you. I understand you've been performing some duties for Tenius, and you've done well. I believe there are other matters you should investigate as well. Okay. Mornhold is a town of two minds. On one hand, there is the monarchy, led by Helseth, and on the other hand, there is the temple and the goddess Almalexia. It is hard to know whom you may trust. While there has been no open hostility between the two, there are always undercurrents that bear watching. I would like you to make yourself known to the temple. See what you can learn. Speak with Fedris Haller. He is a powerful man of the temple, a 
confidant of Amalexia. See if you can get to know him a bit. Who can I trust? A difficult question, especially in the company of gods and kings. I'm always here to answer your questions. My time in the political arena is done, and I will not miss it. I do, however, like to know what is happening to my son and to his monarchy. I stay interested. You should also take the time to speak with Palintius Mero, a dear friend of mine. He is knowledgeable on a great many subjects and is always interesting to speak with. Apart we two, it is up to you to decide who your friends are. Ah, Palintius, a dear friend of mine, an author, a man of the people. He's a good source of information. These royal trappings don't allow me to get out as much as I like, but I can always count on him to know the, how the winds will change. You'll often find him wandering around the palace courtyard. Get to know him, Valdoncellus. His knowledge and judgment are unparalleled. Okay, do you have anything to say about King Lathan's death? I'm sorry for his widow. He was an old man, and he had lived a rich and rewarding life, but that is little consolation to those left behind. What about your son? He is my son. He is also the King of Mornholt. Yes. <laughs> I thought you would tell me more. Uh, tell me about Tenius. He has been my son's loyal and trusted advisor for many years. He is a skilled warrior and an intelligent man. Do not be f fooled by his rough exterior. He is a shrewd man and an excellent judge of character. It is no coincidence my son thrusts him as implicitly as he does. Or trusts him. Huh. Very different than thrusts him, but sure. But with that sort of quest line seemingly wrapping up and us being directed back towards the temple, I think I'm going to end it there for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video and made it this far, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and peace out.